hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. See, to make all men see their future, to make all men see what God is saying, to make all men see his program, to make all men see where their wealth is, just because everybody is running there, you may run there and your wealth is not there. To make all men see what business to do. To make all men see what dimension of ministry you have been called into. To make all men see where your helpers are. Esther, to make all men see where Ahasuerus is. Naomi, to make all men see where Boaz is. To see where your victory is. I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. I'm not wasting your time. Your life will change remarkably, believe me. Remarkably. Can I tell you? The gift of sight will also let you see where the problem is. It can show you where the problem is. This backwardness in this family, where is it? What is the root of this tragedy that has tied down men, tied down women, tied down great people? It is not only to see the future, you can see the origin of tragedies and to correct them. Who seen? that this man was born blind himself or his father and Jesus said neither and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes is a blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear. upon you now take that grace now anyone here 
under the sound of my voice, called to operate in the prophetic office, I activate that grace to see now. From this night, may that grace rest upon you now. Restoration of dreams. Restoration of prophetic dreams. Restoration of visions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I want to pray for you, your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now, begin to see them now, the ideas connected to your wealth, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I pass that place upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, what you have never seen in scripture, I open your eyes to begin to see it. I open the eyes of your understanding, unusual insights into scripture. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now fresh impartation now
every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made, some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God. Come out of that situation now. Come out of that situation now. A miracle service is next week. But please allow me to speak over your finances. There is something your eyes need to see. I want to pray for you. Can I tell you this? Listen, your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again, may nothing take you unawares. That before it happens, by the power of sight, may you see it. So that if you have to stop it, you stop it from happening. And if you have to allow it, then you allow it happen. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, there are doors that men can shut. It depends on who is opening it. I decree and declare, anyone standing before a closed door, please hear me. In the name of Jesus, between August and September, I prophesy to you, enter your open doors. Enter that open door. I speak to that door, a father, be open, be open, be open, be open, be open. Prayer point number one. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Please shout it loud and clear in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that from this day forward, I make reasonable progress. Go ahead and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone is praying everywhere. In the name of Jesus, I make reasonable progress. Reasonable progress. The Bible says he went forward, he advanced until the Philistines envied him. He began to prosper and to go forward. In the name of Jesus from this day, someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life. Shaprakatos Kalika Branda Kadoshka Leka Fraskea Embre de Sasika Paros Karika Tosha Fredes Kalebata Embra Katoskiata I make progress Koinonia makes progress in the name of Jesus Supernatural progress by the power of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah Shout it say in the name of Jesus Everything required for my excelling in this new season i receive it by faith go ahead and pray everything needed connections resources spiritual intelligence access to the hearts of kings everything required for your excelling someone pray 
Everything required. Man of God, pray. Politician, pray. Businessman, pray. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ everything needed for my excelling in this new season. Hallelujah. Are you tired of praying? Say in the name of Jesus. Every person and every platform anointed to announce me in this season, I decree and declare it must work in my favor. Go ahead and pray. Every person and every platform, they will work in my favor, announcing the good tidings of Jesus. The Bible says when Jesus was born, there, were, there was a star that announced his arrival. Every person and every platform that should announce you, announce your business, announce the investment of the Spirit upon your life to your world, activate them by prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the Lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the god of peace himself is granting me peace always Peace in the name of Jesus. Final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. The mantle for favor. Rest upon my life. The mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry someone pray is a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray Please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote. Now, there are things you may not be able to tell everybody, but if you are here to write, you are here to bring your, requ your request, please bring it. Let's have anyone's left. Please stretch your hands and begin to declare. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Someone is praying. Go ahead and declare. Go ahead and declare in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and declare. Someone is praying. People are already receiving answers in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and declare over this prayer request. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone is praying. This captivity comes to an end. This captivity comes to an end. This captivity comes to an end. For someone declare prophetically, I close every negative door. I open every door, blessing, favor, lifting in the name of Jesus. 
please if, if there are still some let's let's have them so that we can pray don't be tired you are declaring by miracle service september you are only returning with thanksgiving for in Jesus' name we pray. Shout a loud Amen. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every Pharaoh and every king that must send for you even if they are hedonistic the king that sent for Joseph was not a believing king but he still sent for him I don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by God whoever must send for you for your rising I declare they send for you now In the name of Jesus, the resources and the access for God to give you your own place. He called it Rehoboth. He said, for God has given my, I, my own space. Where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for God to honor you with structural establishment, to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity, I release that grace upon you now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus, even though I know that around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically, it looks like things are not lining up. But I want to place a mark of exemption upon you. I decree and declare, please hear me, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, when men say there is a casting down, let it be minus you. I say it again, let it be minus you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air by the power that raised Christ from the dead so as long as you are on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor, there are people who have raised others. There are people in Nigeria. Almost every great name, they participated in their rising. And yet there is nothing for you. It's a spirit. It's a pattern. They sit over territories. Embrekete katos koti barakata, shkata bata katos kete kata, embrekete katos koto bakata, kebas kebas keta lis kenya, embrekete katos kati balakata. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I will not destroy them. Hallelujah. Let me finish because we are going to pray tonight. Worship team, get ready. You will sing that my song for me again. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Listen, you have to say enough is enough. If not for your sake, for your children unborn, I've gone through the pain already. Let innocent people not go through this again. I've gone through the poverty. I went through the pain of idolatry. I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go 
through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakatabakatos. Someone pray, you are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies. They return with shame. Wasting your money and your time. Remember what I taught you. He continued further. If and when unhindered, evil will always continue further. Hear me. Let me tell you this. I made up my mind and I made a covenant with God that everything I've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute I'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go pray 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please sit down please sit down just help those under the anointing now hear me please don't be distracted we are praying I want you right now as you are seated in one minute study the patterns you have seen in your family just think about it honestly study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from there are regions that have the spirit of anger there are regions that have the spirit of disunity there are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility it's the women that serve the men there are regions that have helped them, please. Tabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness.
listen. Hear me. Please listen carefully. Listen. It was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here. There is a spirit over that region. You start a walk, it does not last more than three years. Something must happen that brings you down. You may still be there, but you never maintain the texture of your glory. There are regions like that. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in this end time if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise Please sit down. Controlling powers. I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me, looking like Leviathan, looking like, like, like a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families, but there are spirits sitting on their glory. Rise up on your feet. Let the mantle of the intercessor, the grace for prayer and supplication, may it come upon you tonight. Every laziness in your prayer life, whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of jesus i decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent i stand by the grace of god and we bring an end to it now <laughs> hear me please i want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family start there the dynamics of interceding for territories there are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence. There is a series on that and I will teach you. But you can start with your family. He said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not. When you leave this place, you can use this night, use tomorrow and pray. Lock yourself. Collect the prayer request from your family members. Send them a text and say, please forward me your prayer request. Put them before the God of your salvation. And begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom. Pray. God reveals to you something about your pastor, about what he wants to do in the church. Put it down. Pray. And you watch what begins to happen when a people pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore I agree with you that everything you came here trusting God for I release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of Jesus Christ oh, oh, oh. Oh. minutes there is going to be a mighty impartation listen you can choose to spectate and watch others or you can cry to your maker and say lord if this is the moment let this be a destiny encounter someone lift up your voice and in the next one minute, i don't know how you are going to cry to god who are the lord who are the lord Now hear me please, listen to me, I must tell you this before we begin this impartation, whether you are on the ground, whether you are kneeling, just listen, hear me, can I tell you the purity of heart and the desire to glorify Jesus is the biggest attractor of the power of God. The purity of heart and the desire to glorify Jesus, not a desire for fame, not a desire for competition. Let me have it too so I can prophesy like the rest. Let me have it too so no one will mock me. The agenda of God is bigger than self-aggrandizement. The purity of heart, I repeat, and the desire to see Jesus glorified. 
He said, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It says, but in a great house, there are vessels of gold and silver, of wood and clay. Some vessels are unto honor, and some vessels are unto dishonor. It says, if a man will purge himself, that man will be a vessel unto honor meat for the master's use i want you to pray one prayer lord purify my heart purify my heart and quit my motives take away the secret desire for competition the secret desire to outshine the secret desire to trample on others the secret desire to be the only celebrity carrying on power lord take it out of my life Purify my motive. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Now. The power of God is coming. I want you to start bringing the people outside. I'm just seeing angelic manifestations right now. And I'm about to speak. There is an opening of the gate. Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to just bring those under the anointing here now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing the spirit of revelation, access to light, the mysteries of the kingdom. Where are they? Let it come upon you like the dew of Amos. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Receive that mantle. Take that grace. I release you. For the peace for the Holy Spirit. Receive that grace. I empower you by that mantle. The eyes that see. The ears that hear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire upon your life. Let your eyes be washed with eyes. That you may see. Now I'm praying. Please, I want you to listen. Bring them out. There are people here. One of the end time mantles that is going to be restored to the church is authentic healing ministry. The healing ministry with power that heals. And I sense that there are people here. Some of you have been praying and fasting. Please bring them out. I stretch my hands. That mantle to heal you. Take the healing power of Jesus to the nations. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Men and women like Catherine Coleman. Men and women. Every simple manifestation, we reignite that apostolic fire, that revival to heal the sick, to heal the sick, to heal the sick, to heal the sick. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This is a prophetic ministry. Your father is a prophet. And there are many of you who are connected to this vision. But that prophetic mantle has been hovering around you. But it has not landed in your life. I want to release that grace. I believe there are people here who will begin to walk in strange levels of the prophetic. Can I release that mantle upon you? Father, I don't know where they are. 
in this crowd and watching, everyone called into the prophetic office, the prophetic ministry. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that place now. Take that place now. Men and women, drink from the prophetic fountain. Have this lady, please. Drink from the prophetic fountain. Please help me, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stir up that prophetic place. I stir up that prophetic place. Spring up more wells. Spring up more prophetic wells. Spring up more prophetic wells. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do, sir? You are a pastor. I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying the limitation you have seen in ministry that is about to take it away as a reproach. Take that reproach away. I pray for you, sir. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you. Take that grace right now. A new season by the Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Who is um I'm hearing my name? You're my namesake, Joshua. Please make sure you don't run less. We have just a few minutes. I'm, I'm working on extra time. So make sure you don't tell lies. Just come and stand here. You will receive. Bring the person who shouts right now a loud shout, loud shout. You are Joshua. I want to pray for you. What is your name, my friend? Help this boy. Huh? What's his name? This gentleman. Your name is Joshua. Help this guy. I declare that the yoke of witchcraft. And I'm, as I'm praying for him, I'm praying for someone. Everything that has tied your life and limited you from advancing. Every altar. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm seeing fire. Help this guy. Please help him so he doesn't need your people. I declare and declare right now in the name of Jesus. Be delivered now. like Demola, Demola, you are wearing white, Demola, is there someone like that, Demola, who is that, what is your name, what do you do, I want to pray for you, um, you, are, you are destined for greatness, but I'm seeing a serious limitation on your life, in the name of Jesus I decree and declare, be delivered right now, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Help him. Be delivered right now. There is a gentleman here. You do Uber. Is it Uber or Bolt? Who is that person? 
I'm seeing somebody driving a car and the Lord is saying I should pray for the person because there is an anointing that is coming. You do uh, this, um, or what do you call it now? Is there a gentleman like that? Who is that? That's what you do? No, no, no. I'm, please make sure. Is, is that what you do? Because one of you, I'm seeing that you are going into real estate. God is going to bring somebody. It will start just by helping you. Somebody is saying, sell something. And yet, that's how God will help you and establish you your destiny. I stretch my hands. May the grace that lifts and helps men rise. May that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will go and prosper by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lady here, your elder sister is yet to have a child your elder sister is yet to have a child this is what the lord is revealing to me who is that person please come the season has come your elder sister where is she in united kingdom is that where she is where is she that's what i'm saying the lord is saying her, her time has come in the name of if she's following or she wherever she is in the name of jesus we agree we don't care what the medical situation is if the lord has spoken an anointing is coming upon you for our own sake receive that grace now receive that anointing right now in the name of jesus christ and i use as a point of contact that everyone trusting god for the fruit of the womb here at this convention we decree and declare may the god of all possibilities visit them hallelujah now very quickly i want you two things two supernatural miracles you are trusting god for we release our faith under this corporate anointing open your mouth and begin to make that demand and watch the god of all possibilities two impossible situations go ahead and pray you just obey instructions in the name of jesus christ someone is praying what is that that has mocked God in your life? You're trusting God to overturn. Is it a financial situation, a marital situation, an academic situation, a health situation? We stand by the privilege of priesthood and the prophetic, releasing our faith with you. Make that petition unto God. He said, what thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. He says to be answered for nothing but that in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he said let your request be made known unto God pray ask the God of all possibilities visit me in this area change my story in this area wipe my tears give me a testimony in the name of Jesus give me a testimony visit my father Visit my mother, visit my wife, my husband, my children, visit my family, visit my ministry, my business. Pray! One more minute, you are praying. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I shared with you yesterday on the school of faith, Ezekiel 37. He said, Son of man, can these bones live again? And he said, Only thou knowest. And he said, Prophesy. Let me speak over your life. The prophetic can be revelatory, but the prophetic can be creative. It can make what has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus, I stand in partnership with the grace upon the prophet of God in this house to declare over someone every door that has refused to open. From this moment forward, we declare that door open now. Shout a loud amen. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now in the name of Jesus. Let me command restoration. He said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he said, Where fell it? 
there are many people who are in all kinds of situations in need of restoration by the power of the highest i speak to someone between now and the end of march i speak prophetically let there be supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration number three let me pray for you and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not his story the bible says the mother cursed him as a result of her pain Jabez but he got to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast I want to pray for someone whatever has limited you in the name that is above all names be enlarged right now be enlarged right now I prophesy increase expand to the north expand to the east expand to the south expand to the west in the name of Jesus A man called Job, who was once the richest man in the east, the Bible says that man went down from grace to grass until he became an object of mockery. But in Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says, And God turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And he said, All his former acquaintances who had left him, they now began to return. And the Bible says, Everyone brought gifts and a piece of money. I declare, Whoever has left you, by reason of the tragedies that have come upon your life, I compel them to return with gifts. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. Two more impartations and we're done. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Let me declare, there is a grace for favor. It compels men and systems to walk towards your progress. Wherever you are, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the grace for favor rest on you. Let the grace of favor rest on your business, rest on your ministry, rest on your family. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. I want to rebuke the ugly spirit of untimely death that is sweeping from nation to nation, destroying great lives and great potentials. I hope you know that death is beyond the phenomenon. Death is a spirit. According to Revelation, the rider upon the pale horse holding a pair of balances on his hand and his name is death. Death is a spirit. More than just a natural occurrence. And that spirit like all other spirits can answer to the name of Jesus. Therefore I declare he says to deliver them who have been appointed unto death anyone here and any family that the devil is already programming that you will not see the end of 2023 anyone here that in the realm of the spirit it is almost like a done deal i declare in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead the fullness of your days you will fulfill the fullness of your days you will fulfill you will not die, not by the sword, not by accident, not by plane crash, not by kidnapping, not by the activity of wicked men. The Lord preserves your going in, the Lord preserves your coming out. In the name of Jesus. Let me start with those who have lost things. You have lost things. In the name that is above all names, I'm praying now. Here at Koinonia. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada, across Africa, Koinonia Global, and indeed the body of Christ, I stand by the privilege of the election of grace, and I decree and declare, let there be a restoration now. 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 
for the last one month this prayer point has not left my spirit Joel chapter 2 some of you have lost all kinds of things everything to be lost has left you you have lost opportunities you have lost relationships you have lost joy you have lost strategic resources it's time to have it back Joel 2 25 and I will restore to you the years and I will restore to you the years God can restore time did you hear what I said God can restore time I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs those failing body parts you are just 20 30 and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things it's time to be hungry God does not just restore time God restores health and vitality Psalm 41 1 to 3 blessed is the man that considered the poor the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble verse 2 the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive he says and he shall be blessed upon the earth he says thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies shout verse 3 together the Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness God will not allow him to die not allow him to deplete and famish first Peter 5 and verse 10 I like this one God is restoring but the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory he says after that ye have suffered a while what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabakaparos. Rakata Braskata Vaskabash. Rakata Braskata Valakos. Rakata Brantakabash. And Rakatos Toto Prekatelet. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many as much as he had before the Lord turned his captivity but he did not stop there 
God restored by giving twice. Oh, 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 oh. events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships closed doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now Spirit gives way now. Every mark upon your head, you may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, 
lost touch with in this place tonight by the mercy of God I command restoration I command reconnection I command restoration I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble I've owed people before I know what it means the, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable I pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up I pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when God wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to Job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says God will deliver us from Anyone who is a victim of that, I pray for you here at Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from any and all evil. Be delivered from any and all evil. Now hear me. Some of you perhaps, what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others. Maybe in your time of ignorance, and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and make declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you caused pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die I prophesy leave where they said you will fail I prophesy go and excel where they said your children would do the same negative thing I need wife by prophecy may your children be Bula and Hepzibah in the name of Jesus Christ that out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days live long and fulfill your days 
Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, you would, have, you would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. Please hear me. Every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life, I release my faith one more time. In the name of Jesus, perhaps through dishonor, perhaps through carelessness, lack of discernment, all of these things that I mentioned, you are not having it work in your life. I agree with you by faith. And we stand together as a noble family of faith. I declare, may this grace rest on your life. May this grace rest on your life. Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him Laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Because the Bible says, Weeping may endure for the night, but it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease.
says what things soever ye desire what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it how could I lead a ministry like this without the favor of God this is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today I'm, I'm not trying to insult you forgive me but it's true if God does not show you favor, life is hard, unbearably hard. Where will the finances come from? Even if you have money, where will the access come from? Do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you? It has to be God. In one minute, I'd like you to pray, Father, may, may favor come upon my life may favor come upon my life difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you ye have not because ye ask not 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 now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus, the one who has shown us mercy, I decree and declare right now, receive ye this grace called favor. Receive ye this grace called favor. I place this mantle upon your life. Take this grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe, experience favor. Every door that needs favor for, to be opened, I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now Honor has shot that was once open and dishonor shot it by the mercy of the God of David. We reopen that door now.
and in the name of Jesus many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of Jesus by the paparakatos katapakate parukoto pasiata and teleke paruska de bashka baruze siata in the name of Jesus Christ I give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know that international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are I stand by the prophetic I call them into your life now hear me I stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing I declare in the name of Jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ find the grace for favor I'm going to count three and when I count three those inside outside those following online you are going to shout the name Jesus the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name an office that is above every other name it says that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow is that in your Bible of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth that includes things in your office that includes things in your house that includes negative things in your body it says they will bow at the count of three I want you to shout you are not holding a trumpet but your mouth will be that shout and as you shout hear me please the power of God is going to come on several people there will be a massive deliverance in this place deliverance means that you are being separated from that which impedes your progress it can be a spirit it can be a condition are we together at the count of three I want you to shout let that sound get into the realm of the spirit and in the name of Jesus there will be massive deliverance father we thank you that you honor your word this is the feast of fat things even with the spirit at the count of three every burden every yoke every power every altar that has tied down destinies and will not let you rise in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God your liberty comes right now are you ready one two three shout Jesus in the name of Jesus be released now please bring them out in the name of Jesus I decree and declare yokes break now yokes break now yokes break now yokes break now Ah, an end comes to negative patterns, negative circles, negative patterns, negative circles. In the name of Jesus. Please, if you can bring them out very quickly, I want to pray for them. My God, negative patterns are breaking, negative circles are breaking breaking whether an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please help to bring them out so that we can just redeem the time i'm still praying again i'm praying negative patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings now it's coming upon you let that fire from heaven please bring them out right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now 
Shale sabrande ge paruska diata. I hope you are not silent. You should be praying, declaring by the Spirit that an end comes to any and every captivity in my life by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. This is a miracle service. By the power of the blood, the sound of mourning, the sound of languishing must come to an end in the name of Jesus. Another kind of sound, the Bible says a sound of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. live again and he said only thou knowest and he said prophesy let me speak over your life the prophetic can be revelatory but the prophetic can be creative it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with the grace upon the prophet of God in this house to declare over someone every door that has refused to open Malice from this moment forward, we declare that door open now. Shout a loud amen. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Let me command restoration. He said, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? There are many people who are in all kinds of situations in need of restoration. By the power of the highest, I speak to someone. Between now and the end of March, I speak prophetically. Let there be supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Number three, let me pray for you. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not his story. The Bible says the mother cursed him as a result of her pain. Jabez. But he got to a point where he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. I want to pray for someone. Whatever has limited you in the name that is above all names, be enlarged right now. Be enlarged right now. I prophesy increase. Expand to the north. Expand to the east. Expand to the south. Expand to the west. In the name of Jesus. A man called Job, who was once the richest man in the east. The Bible says that man went down from grace to grass until he became an object of mockery. But in Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says, And God turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And he said, All his former acquaintances who had left him, they now began to return. And the Bible says, Everyone brought gifts and a piece of money. I declare whoever has left you, by reason of the tragedies that have come upon your life, I compel them to return with gifts. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. I compel them to return with favor. Two more impartations and we're done. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Let me declare, there is a grace for favor. It compels men and systems to walk towards your progress. Wherever you are, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the grace for favor rest on you. Let the grace of favor rest on your business, rest on your ministry, rest on your family. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. I want to rebuke the ugly spirit of untimely death that is sweeping from nation to nation, destroying great lives and great potentials. I hope you know that death is beyond the phenomenon. Death is a spirit. According to Revelation, the rider upon the pale horse, holding a pair of balances on his hand, and his name is death. Death is a spirit. 
more than just a natural occurrence and that spirit like all other spirits can answer to the name of Jesus therefore I declare he says to deliver them who have been appointed unto death anyone here and any family that the devil is already programming that you will not see the end of 2023 anyone here that in the realm of the spirit it is almost like a dumb bill I declare in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Christ from the dead the fullness of your days you will fulfill the fullness of your days you will fulfill you will not die not by the sword not by accident not by plane crash not by kidnapping not by the activity of wicked men the lord preserves your going in the lord preserves your coming out in the name of jesus let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names i'm praying now here at koinonia by the power that raised Christ from the dead, from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada, across Africa, Koinonia, Global, and indeed the body of Christ, I stand by the privilege of the election of grace, and I decree and declare, let there be a restoration now. 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 For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs, those failing body parts, you are just 20, 30, and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be hungry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabaka parakatosiata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth.
Shout and praise. Restoration. 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 Harisabalagadash. Rampatalagabalagatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Abrakatabalagatas. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros. Rakata Flaskata Vaskabash. Ratakata Flaskata Balakos. Rakata Brantakabash. Abrakatos Toto Prekatelet. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice.
Coming from afar events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships close doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now. Every mark upon your head, you may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me, everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration, I command reconnection, I command restoration, I command reconnection, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing, whether institutionally, whether corporately, whether personally. None of them is profitable. I pray for you. The same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus. Every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Come out of that situation. Come out of that situation. By the ministry of men. Come out of that situation. By the ministry of favor. Come out of that situation. By the ministry of wisdom. Come out of that situation. By the ministry of mercy. Come out of that situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who have lost time. Delay has happened in your life. And the truth is that time has gone. Even if the constraints were taken away from your life, it will take grace for you to catch up. I pray for you. There is speed and there is restoration. These are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time. The Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil. And there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption. One is called speed, another is called restoration. When God wants to help you, you will experience both. Restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow. Speed moves you further into your tomorrow. I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration. May time be redeemed now. May time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration. May time be redeemed now. Everyone here who is under any curse, any diabolic manifestation, the scourging tongues of men, according to Job chapter 5, one of the six things that he says God will deliver us from, Anyone who is a victim of that, I pray for you here at Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from any and all evil. Be delivered from any and all evil. Now hear me. 
Some of you perhaps, what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others. Maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman, some intercessor and some of them in their pain, they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper. Some of them have died today. Some of them have gone away. You need help. I stand by the advantage of priesthood. Everybody who has spoken negatively, maybe your biological parents, maybe a man of God you ignored, maybe somebody that you caused pain in their life, in their family. I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night. Let that curse come to an end over your life. Let that curse come to an end over your life. Where they said you will die, I prophesy leave. Where they said you will fail, I prophesy go and excel. Where they said your children would do the same negative thing, I need wife by prophecy. May your children be Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ out of their pain they said it will never be well with you i call upon the god of mercy because today you are the righteous i say to you it shall be well hezekiah where isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death i stand in the name of jesus christ as an able minister of the new testament and i pray for you live long and fulfill your days Live long and fulfill your days. Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, you would, have, you would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. Please hear me. Every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life, I release my faith one more time. In the name of Jesus, perhaps through dishonor, perhaps through carelessness, lack of discernment, all of these things that I mentioned, you are not having it work in your life. I agree with you by faith, and we stand together as a noble family of faith. I declare, may this grace rest on your life. May this grace rest on your life. Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him Laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night. But it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease.
Receivest it and thou shalt have it. How could I lead a ministry like this without the favor of God? This is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure to pay. I'm, I'm not trying to insult you, forgive me, but it's true. If God does not show you favor, life is hard, unbearably hard. Where will the finances come from? Even if you have money, where will the access come from? Do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you? It has to be God. In one minute, I'd like you to pray, Father, may, may favor come upon my life. May favor come upon my life. Difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you. Ye have not because ye ask not. 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 Now, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office 
by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy I decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor receive ye this grace called favor I place this mantle upon your life take this grace now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the morning experience favor in the afternoon experience favor in the night experience favor in Nigeria experience favor in America experience favor in Europe experience favor every door that needs favor for, to be open I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now Dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David. We reopen that door now. And in the name of Jesus, many of you are gifted, but the favor to announce you is not there. You are so gifted, gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift. In the name of Jesus, by the paparakatos katabaka de baruko to basiata, and teleke paruska de bashka baruse siata. In the name of Jesus Christ, I give your gift visibility now. By this gift, let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now Everyone anointed, commissioned, and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season. Wherever they are, I stand by the prophetic. I call them into your life now. Hear me. I stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us. And under this corporate anointing, I declare in the name of Jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ, find the grace for favor. I'm going to count three. And when I count three, those inside, outside, those following online, you are going to shout the name Jesus. The Bible says, wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name and office that is above every other name it says that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow is that in your bible of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth that includes things in your office that includes things in your house that includes negative things in your body it says they will bow at the count of three I want you to shout you are not holding a trumpet but your mouth will be that shout and as you shout hear me please the power of God is going to come on several people there will be a massive deliverance in this place 
deliverance means that you are being separated from that which impedes your progress it can be a spirit it can be a condition are we together at the count of three i want you to shout let that sound get into the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus there will be massive deliverance father we thank you that you honor your word this is the feast of fat things even with the spirit at the count of three every burden every yoke every power every altar that has tied down destinies and will not let you rise in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god your liberty comes right now are you ready one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus be released now please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and declare yokes break now yokes break now yokes break now yokes break now shake it back at the delicate back at her ah an end comes to negative patterns negative cycles negative patterns negative cycles in the name of jesus please if you can bring them out very quickly i want to pray for them my god negative patterns are breaking negative cycles are breaking whether an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please help to bring them out so that we can just redeem the time i'm still praying again i'm praying negative patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings now it's coming upon you let that fire from heaven please bring them out right now in the name of jesus christ i declare an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now I hope you are not silent. You should be praying, declaring by the Spirit that an end comes to any and every captivity in my life by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. This is a miracle service. By the power of the blood, the sound of mourning, the sound of languishing must come to an end in the name of Jesus. Another kind of sound, the Bible says, the sound of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.